Have you ever imagined being stranded on a desert island? In this video, we're going to take a look at 10 cases of real life castaways. Number 10, the Robertson family. In 1971, Dougal Robertson and his wife Lynn decided to spend their life savings on a small boat and travel the world with their children. However, 17 months into the journey, disaster struck when a pod of killer whales crashed into the boat, sinking it in the Pacific Ocean. The family scrambled aboard their tiny inflatable life raft, only able to carry enough food for six days. After their supplies ran out, the Robertsons hunted fish and turtles from their dinghy using makeshift tools. The ordeal lasted 54 days until they were rescued by a Japanese fishing trawler. Number 9. Lindert Hasenbosch Lindert Hasenbosch was a Dutch sailor from the early 18th century. He was marooned on Ascension Island in the South Atlantic Ocean as a punishment for sodomy. Hasenbosch survived six months on the previously uninhabited island. Unable to find any fresh water, he drank his own urine and the blood of turtles before he died of dehydration in 1725. A year after his death, British sailors discovered the Dutchman's camp and his diary. It thoroughly detailed his struggles for survival and has since been published internationally. In a sad twist of fate to Hashimbosh's tale, it later emerged that Ascension Island had two sources of fresh water. Number 8. Ada Blackjack Unlike those stranded on tropical desert islands, Inuit Ada Blackjack had to battle extreme freezing weather to survive her two years as a castaway. In 1921, Blackjack was part of an expedition of five people in Wrangell Island, north of Siberia, where temperatures average minus 15 degrees. When conditions grew difficult, three of the men left in search of food and help. However, they were never seen again. She was left alone with one other man who she nursed until unfortunately he died of scurvy. She became very adept at hunting and keeping herself warm and eventually she was rescued in August of 1923. Uncomfortable with the fame that she received for her incredible story, Blackjack eventually returned to the Arctic where she lived until her death at the ripe old age of 85. Coming in at number seven, Chunosuke Matsuyama. In 1754, a freak storm blew a ship of Japanese sailors onto a coral reef, forcing them to abandon ship and seek refuge on a nearby Pacific island. Tragically unable to find food and fresh water, the crew of 43 men eventually all died due to lack of sustenance. However, before he died, one sailor, Matsuyama, carved an account of their experiences onto a thin piece of wood from a coconut tree. He placed the wood into an empty bottle and threw it into the ocean. Over 150 years later, the bottle washed up on the shore of a Japanese village, discovered by a seaweed collector. Remarkably, the village that it showed up on was Hiriatayuma, the very same village where Matsuyama had been born. Number 6. Three Mexican Shark Fishermen After running out of fuel on a fishing trip, Jesus Viraña, Lopez, Salvador Ordonez, and Lucio Rendon spent nearly 10 months as castaways in the Pacific Ocean. The three men drifted for approximately 8,000 kilometers until they were saved by a Taiwanese trawler in August of 2006. Two other sailors that were with them perished only a couple of months into the ordeal. They ate raw bird meat, which caused them to vomit blood, Questions arose over the purpose of the voyage. When the fishermen said that they'd been hired by the men who had passed away, the media questioned it and caused them to speculate that the men had been drug traffickers who arranged the expedition to collect a shipment of drugs. Number 5. Juana Maria Known as the Lone Woman of San Nicolas Island, Juana Maria was the last surviving member of her Native American tribe living alone for 18 years in the mid-19th century. Maria was left behind following a rescue operation for victims of a Russian massacre. They completely decimated her tribe, leaving only 20 survivors. She constructed a hut out of whale bones and survived on seal blubber that she left out to dry. In 1853, a hunter named George Needever found Maria and brought her back to live at the Santa Barbara Mission with him and his wife. Unfortunately, only seven weeks after her arrival on the mainland, 
Maria contracted dysentery and died. Number four, Ernest Shackleton. In 1914, polar explorer Sir Ernest Shackleton led an expedition to cross Antarctica in the ironically named ship Endurance. The ship became trapped in ice and ended up sinking, forcing the crew to camp nearby in temperatures of minus 50 degrees. Knowing his men would die from exposure in just a matter of days, Shackleton and five others left in search of rescue. With only enough provision for one month, they completed a 17-day, 1,300-kilometer journey. Conditions were unforgiving and Shackleton lost fingers caused by frostbite as a result. Fortunately, they eventually found a manned whaling station. The remaining men of the expedition were rescued and not one single member of the crew died. Number three, Margarita de la Roque. Marooned in 1542, 16th century French nobleman Marguerite de la Rotte became famous for her incredible survival story. During a trip captained by her cousin, Jean-Francois Roberval, Marguerite was discovered that she was having an affair with a young man aboard the ship. Her, the young man, and a servant woman were abandoned on the Isle of Demons near Quebec as a punishment for the scandalous behavior. The young man, the maid, and the baby that Margarita gave birth to all died on the island, which was rumored to be home to various devilish creatures. But Margarita survived. Provided with limited weaponry, she hunted wild animals, allegedly killing a bear and using its fur for warmth. After two years, she was rescued by fishermen and returned to France, where she gained notoriety as a courageous romantic heroine. Number two, Alexander Selkirk. 18th century Scottish sailor Alexander Selkirk is widely believed to be the inspiration behind Daniel Defoe's iconic novel Robinson Crusoe. Serving under the tyrannical and reckless Captain Thomas Stradling, Selkirk grew fearful of the ship's seaworthiness. He raised his concerns and he was marooned as a punishment for his insubordination. Selkirk spent over four years on the island of Juan Fernandez in the South Pacific. It emerged he was a very capable survivor. He made huts out of trees and used feral goats as a source of meat, milk, and clothing. To ensure that the goats wouldn't be able to get away from him, he maimed their legs when they were very young. Rescued by a privateer ship in 1709, the castaway's story went on to become a sensation. Finally coming in at number one is Jose Salvador Avareña. Jose Salvador Avareña spent 13 months adrift in the Pacific Ocean after a one-day fishing trip went horribly wrong. Alvarenga began his journey in Chiapas, Mexico. A freak storm came in and blew his boat off course and he ended up almost 11,000 kilometers away. The fisherman survived off raw fish, birds, turtle blood, and rainwater. His young companion, Ezekiel Cordoba, died only four months into the voyage and he was unable to stomach the raw diet. And on the 30th of January, 2014, Alvarenia finally drifted onto the shore of a small isle in the Marshall Islands. In December of 2015, Alvarenia made headlines once more when it emerged that Cadoba's family accused him of cannibalism and declared that they were suing him for $1 million. Alvarenia maintains he did not eat his companion, but he put his corpse into the ocean. Well, that completes our list of 10 true castaway stories. We hope you enjoyed it.